Now on the show, I want to take a look at a new documentary that is opening in Australian cinemas this weekend. It is called Blind Ambition. And um, this is a documentary that I'll admit completely surprised me. Um, I didn't actually look up what this documentary was about before I went into the screening. So I kind of had a feeling that perhaps it might have been about um, visually impaired athletes. But this actually turned out to be something very, very different. Um, it introduced me to a world that I have to admit that I also didn't know very much about. Now, this documentary is all about the fact that a couple of years ago, uh, four Zimbabwean men ended up representing Zimbabwe at the World Wine Tasting um, Championships in Europe. Now... Of course, when you think of wine, you do not instantly think of Zimbabwe. And that's where this film becomes so interesting. These four men had also never experienced wine until they fled Zimbabwe to go and live in South Africa. Now, since they've uh, gone to South Africa, they've all found themselves working in jobs in restaurants where it's their job to order wine for the restaurant and also um, recommend wine to people who come into these fancy restaurants to, to order food. Now, the four men kind of bonded from the fact that not only were they Zimbabwean refugees, but also over this uh, love for wine and their passion for wine that they developed through their work. And it was through someone who was actually the South African wine uh, tasting coach that the Zimbabwean team happened because the four men all tried out for the South African Wine Tasting Championship team. And he said to them, look, why don't you guys actually form a Zimbabwean team seeing there's four of you, which is what is required for the World Championships. Now, the four men set about doing that and were working with the South African coach, which of course wasn't ideal because he was also coaching his own team to go to the World Championships. Um... But, of course, the four men, as you see in this documentary, needed to learn about wines from all around the world, from countries like Australia, uh, right across Europe, New Zealand, countries that they may not have ever tasted wine from before. Because at this championship, you're given, I think it was 12 wines, and you have to tell from not knowing what it is, you have to then write down which country it's from, which region within that country, and what kind of wine it is, um, and who made it, in order to get points for this world championship. So this documentary shows the four men, shows all of their training, shows what happens when they get to Europe, and, and get their very own coach, who I have to say is an absolute character in his own right. Um, but it is such an amazing documentary. It does touch on the fact that what, what these four men went through in Zimbabwe. And what I love that the director has done here is he also lets the men talk about one day how they wish to return to Zimbabwe and what they hope to bring back to Zimbabwe. It also talks about their lives in South Africa and you learn as the film goes on that perhaps not everything is perfect for them and their families in South Africa either. But it is such an amazing documentary to show how these four men were so determined to get a Zimbabwean team to the world um, championships for wine tasting. It is amazing. Um, I did not know how I would feel about this documentary, but I absolutely loved it. I love the way that um, the director really explores these men's lives. Um, there's a mixture of uh, sit-down and talk interviews. There's also um, lots of footage of them training, lots of footage of them traveling through Europe. It is an absolutely fantastic documentary. You don't have to be a wine lover to enjoy this documentary. That that's if you are, that's just a byproduct, really, because this is more about four men trying to achieve their dream. I am going to give this four out of five. I really, really enjoyed this documentary.